another edition of The Smoking Den. I'm your host this evening, Smokey Dan. And tonight I'm going to be reviewing a cigar that harkens back to my uh, first days of smoking cigars. This is a Sosa Vintage Pyramid Number no. 2. It's a uh, 6x50 Torpedo. And it has, believe it or not, this is a, uh, a, a Connecticut wrapper. It's a Connecticut wrapper that went to a tanning uh, salon, obviously. Um, it's coarse and veiny. Um, and the filler is all Dominican Lajero. Now, back when I started smoking cigars, I was 18 years old, uh, back in 2000. And I had this vision of cigar smoking as being sophisticated and elegant, you know, and Cary Grant and, uh, and uh, uh, Fred Astaire and, you know, FDR with his cigarette holder and Marilyn Monroe. So the first thing I do, of course, is go out and buy my first cigar, which was a uh, five-pack of Philly Sweets at the local drug mart. Real classy, I know. Um, so for the next six months, I smoked the lowest grade crap, Dutch Masters and, and yeah, Dutch Masters, White Owls, Phillies. I mean, just the worst possible smokes. I mean, the stuff that people don't actually buy to smoke, if you get my drift. That's what I was smoking, and I didn't know any better. Um, so then that summer, I got my first summer job selling cars, and I took my first measly paycheck over to a local tobacconist. And I was sort of curious as to why people would spend, you know, six, seven, ten dollars on a cigar when I was picking cigars up for, uh, for, you know, a five pack for two and a half dollars. And so I wandered around the store for a while, and the first cigar that I picked up was a Sosa Pyramid Number no. Two. Now it wasn't a vintage; it was a classic, but it was about six dollars and. I'll tell you what, one inch in, I was hooked, and I still am to this day. Um, it was just mouthfuls, mouthfuls of creamy leather and toasted nuts, and I was, I was beguiled, I was en en enchanted, and you know what, that hobby still sticks today, so something good happened. Now, oh, new lighter, by the way, Bugatti. I wish I had the car, but this will do in the meantime. So if only, you know, even though that was a real magical first experience for me, I've only smoked a handful of Sosa's since, so I'm gonna be curious to see if this, uh, this vintage uh, relives the magic for me today. Well, it's got that nutty uh, finish. Um, still a little bit early on to detect what the flavors are on the uh, on the main palate. One thing I am a little disappointed by is this draws a little bit tough. You know, sometimes you get the torpedoes, but still. Some generic earth flavors on the uh, on the palate, but it feels like like there like there's something else coming in with the uh, with the palate that's going to develop here pretty quickly. It's it's a very subdued. Slightly silky, earthy flavor. Usually, an earthy 
um, flavor in a cigar. It's not an especially, it uh, doesn't really have a silky body to it, but this one does a little bit. Mm. A little bit of herbal flavor, just a touch, which is odd for a Lajero filler. Um, but it could be that um, vintage is a misnomer and it just doesn't have enough age on it. But even that seems odd because from what I've read, the uh, Lajero filler in this cigar has already been aged eight months, or excuse me, eight years by the time it gets into this cigar. So in any case, I got a few inches left to smoke uh, and we'll be back in a few seconds on your YouTube screen with the verdict. And we're back for the uh, verdict on this Sosa Vintage Pyramid number two. I don't know why it's a number two, but it is. Um, <laughs> that said, uh, the good news is on this, I uh, gave it another cut. And uh, the draw problems I was having disappeared. Draw is fine now. Ash is uh, held up well, but it's kind of ugly, but whatever and the burns evened out. Um, Flavor-wise, just getting some mild, cream, earthy notes coming in. Not a whole lot in the finish. The flavor's really been all over the place on this cigar. Um, for a while, I was getting some uh, some heavy sweet notes in it, but it wasn't like a sweet cedar. It was like a sweet earth, which is a... I can't remember the last time I had a cigar, or if I've ever had a cigar, that had sort of a sweet earth flavor to it. It's inter It was interesting, but then it died out. The leather finish that was wonderful would become bitter for a few puffs, and then it would die down. Um, just kind of a strange cigar. There's that sweet, earthy flavor coming in again. Um, it's almost like, you know, every other puff's just a little bit different on the cigar. But it hasn't been a steady evolution. It's just been a sort of an in and out, inconsistent, but for the most part, a pretty good cigar. Um, this is going to be a real tough one for me to rate. I think that it could, uh, it, it could really use, you know, six months, a year, if you're patient, maybe even two or three years in the humidor. I think that that would reward you if you're patient with the cigar. The first third of it really did bring me back to that, you know, original sort of nostalgia. Oh, wow. I remember all those good Sosa flavors, but then it sort of, not evolved, it sort of devolved a little bit. I really want to give this cigar a good rating. I mean, I, I really, I feel like I should, but, and I'm not going to give it a bad rating. I'm, I'm going to give it a six and a half out of ten. If it had been more consistent, you know, towards the beginning, I was thinking a seven and a half, but it's, it's really, it's, it's a six and a half cigar. Um, that said, it's not an expensive cigar. This is a online, a three to five dollar cigars. A lot of retailers don't carry Sosa, but you should find it at some larger shops. You know, at that price point, I'd say, yeah, go ahead, pick one up and see what you think. See what your experience is. Um, I'd hold off on buying a box, but you know, it's, it's an interesting stick. Um, it's definitely good to get back to my roots. Um, yeah, sort of a 
sweet earthy um, flavor. It's a medium bodied cigar um, through and through. Um, six and a half. Um, in any case, if this is your first time on the channel, please subscribe. Feel free to give it a rating. Um, feel free to comment. I'm always happy to hear from you. Um, and uh, also, you know, I've, we've got a lot of other videos up. We've been around since about 2010, so check out the other videos. And uh, keep smoking whatever you're smoking, and we'll see you around for the next review.